Hi, my name is Miles Oliva and you're watching my story. I was just gaining weight throughout all of my teen years. The girls weren't really interested. I mean, I was always set as a big brother. I got bullied a lot. I mean, people like to pick on other people, and especially when you look different. And unfortunately for me, I was pretty big. I mean, that's how people treat you nowadays, depending on how you look, no matter how much somebody says it's, the looks don't matter. It's unfortunately all about the looks. And I got towards the end of my high school year and I was already at 350 pounds. The biggest part of my life that actually like scarred my memories, my parents tend to travel a lot and they like to have fun when we travel. So we went to a bunch of amusement parks. We went to Rapids and Disney World and a bunch of other places. And it got to the point where I was so big, I couldn't ride any of the rides. I actually had to wait for my family to go ride the ride and it sucked seeing like trying to get in there and seeing if i would fit into that ride one thing that actually got me through high school is a cool thing is my dad's emotional speaker so he actually was able to give me those pep talks of don't worry about it things will change things will get better one of the most positive affirmations that my father would keep giving me is his own which was live life don't let life live you and we tried so many different ways to try and help me lose that weight i tried different diets i tried different workouts i tried personal trainings, I tried all kinds of different things and nothing really worked for me. I remember just waking up every day and just looking down and if it was there, I wouldn't go away. I didn't think it was gonna work. After having all the positive energy from my dad and sitting down and talking to actually both of my parents, I came to the conclusion of trying a small procedure in order to change my life. I was ready for a change in my life. I was tired of having my looks dictate how people treat me. It really sucks. I mean, coming from both angles now, I would have never thought I would have been here two years ago. I would have never thought I would have been healthy or fit. Pretty much, the procedure was only a small part of it. I mean, after when I got the procedure, a lot of it was mental. People don't realize how much our, our minds actually affect our lives. So one of the biggest concerns when we were actually getting ready to do the surgery was thinking about the long term. Most of the people that get these surgeries, around 60 to 70% of them end up getting the weight back within the first three years. So that was the biggest concern, was being able to fight your mind in order not to gain the weight back. I came to the point after a couple of months of having the surgery where I hit a plateau. I had already lost a good amount of weight. I had looked slim, but it wasn't what I wanted. I wanted it better. I kept telling my father this, so he actually took me to the gym one day and he was showing me old school bodybuilding and a bunch of that stuff. After months of just working out and starting just by benching the bar and starting by picking up 15 pound weights just to work on my arms, I started to see how my strength grew and how my body started changing. I was so big that I actually had so much extra skin left over after losing all that weight. We live in Miami. I wanted to feel comfortable taking off my shirt going to the beach or just not having a shirt on at the beach in general. And I just wanted to have that self-comfort. So I took bodybuilding and kept going with it and started doing my own homework and started expanding my knowledge with fitness. So we're gonna go ahead and do the, uh, the curls and then jump straight into push-ups and start doing my push-ups. I'm always here, like later on today I even got some friends to come with me so I'm gonna go ahead and actually train her. I even help my friends and I get my friends to get in better shape as well. And one of the best quotes that my dad actually showed me was the day you think you've learned everything is the day you lost everything. And I always keep that in mind when it comes to anything that I try to learn now. One cool thing about fitness that I learned is uh, it's not so much as having competitions against somebody else and see if you're better than them, but it's to better yourself, to be better where you used to be. After losing all the weight and seeing what I've done to myself, I wanted to help other people and I saw that opportunity. For me, I'm getting uncomfortable speaking, but not even uncomfortable, I'm getting nervous speaking about this and anxious because I want to help other people. I know what it's like to walk into a room and you're the fattest person in the room, not even like just in size wise, you're the biggest person and it makes you feel uncomfortable and I understand how that feeling is. And then I understand walking in to the room and actually have a girl here to look at me and smile and it's just like before I wouldn't even look at me. My life right now is pretty much all about fitness. I mean, I've got a job to work in a gym just so that I can learn more. I try to find every possible way in order to expand my knowledge within fitness to help people. Right now, I'm going to school to study for personal training certifications and not just one, but many. I want to have so many different tools under my belt that I can help any variety of people, anybody who either wants to lose weight or just to tone up. I just want to be able to help people in general.